cases are one of the more underappreciated components as far as PC builds are concerned, but they should be given as much thought as any piece of hardware. They are often overlooked because they don't contribute to the overall performance, but this statement is only true in theory. Once all the hardware is in place and working, it becomes very evident that while computer cases may not improve performance, they can certainly hamper it. That's why for the purposes of this list, we've made sure to give practicality as much weight as aesthetics while compiling. Additionally, we made sure to feature at least two models a piece for every case size, from mini to full. So with this in mind, here are the 10 best gaming PC cases of 2019. Starting off this list, we have a mini ITX case made by Corsair, the Obsidian 250D. It may look more like a speaker than a computer case, but the interior of this model was meticulously designed both to ensure optimal airflow and allow for the best performance. The two built-in fans do an admirable job, but the case also features three additional fan mounts for a grand total of five. This may seem like an overkill, and in most mini ITX cases that might be the case, but the Obsidian 250D is special in that it's capable of housing a full-size graphics card. If you want to make a truly high-end Master Race Mini ITX build, well, now you can. The trade-off, however, is somewhat ironic. In order to fit a full-size graphics card, Corsair made 250D somewhat larger and heavier than most Mini ITX cases. And seeing how compactness and portability are the two main attributes drawing people to use a Mini ITX case in the first place, this is definitely not a model for everyone. Funny how having a quality metal build can be considered a downside. Nevertheless, it's the best bet for those who want the best performance in a case that's still pretty portable for what it's housing. Also, if you're curious as to the concrete specs of any of these cases, you can find their precise dimensions in the article linked in the description, along with the number and sizes of supported fans and radiator mounts and all that technical stuff. We figured you wouldn't want us screaming number after number at you in this video and having it last forever. So if any of the cases catches your eye, check out the article to learn all about it. Next up, we have a more proper mini ITX, the Cooler Master Elite 110. Funnily enough, it looks even less like a computer case than the last entry. We just can't put our finger on what exactly it reminds us of. A space heater? A guitar amp? Neither seems just right. If you have a better suggestion, please let us know in the comments. Anyway, the Elite 110 offers exactly what people most typically look for in a mini ITX compact and light while still offering a quality and durable steel build, but it also suffers from all the standard mini ITX drawbacks. The space inside is so cramped that some pieces of hardware simply won't fit, and it easily turns into a baking oven. Even with the airflow enabling system with the maximum of three mounted fans, we highly advise that you install a liquid cooler if you plan to use a CPU that tends to run hot regardless of whether you plan on overclocking it or not. High-end builds are out of the question for this one, but it performs rather well for mid-range gaming, especially for the price. Again, if you're curious about the full specs, check out the article linked in the description. Despite the best efforts of our two previous entries, the first place prize for the most uncomputer case looking case on this list has to go to the Fractal Design Node 202. And how could it not? This case was designed specifically to visually emulate a gaming console. And with such a marvelously inconspicuous and compact design, we'd say it succeeds. It even comes with its own vertical stand so you can literally fit it anywhere you see fit. Now if you're anything like us when we first laid our eyes on this case, you're probably having some misgivings about the airflow efficiency and whether there even is any to speak of. But rest assured, the folk at Fractal Design weren't focusing all of their attention on the exterior. The way the Node 202 mitigates overheating issues is quite simple, actually. Each major component is placed inside a separate chamber, with the GPU chamber having two case fan mounts. Why would you need the additional cooling for the GPU? 
Well, because the Note 202 can house a full-size graphics card, that's why. It has some compatibility issues, sure, like only supporting SFX power supplies and having no room for optical drives or 3.4-inch HDDs, but as far as graphics are concerned, you're free to go all out. Just remember that a blower fan graphics card would work better in this case. Now for something a bit bigger. We offer you the first micro ATX case, the Cooler Master N200. Now here's a model that has everything we like to see in a budget computer case. Style, spaciousness, and airflow. It won't impress any RGB enthusiast, but the clean look will fit into every environment. As for the airflow, honestly, it actually feels like a steal for its price. And we don't mean like a bargain. No, like you're actually stealing it. The mesh front goes a long way in helping with the airflow and is augmented by no fewer than three pre-installed case fans with the options to add two more. Unless you're planning to go with liquid cooling, this case has enough in the way of airflow to support even high-end configurations. The only thing that it has going against it is that it's a very sub-optimal for liquid cooling builds thanks to the single radiator mount, and the fact that the pre-installed fans can get a little noisy. Still, for the price of $50, we feel that the inconvenience can easily be overlooked. Of course, Cooler Master has you covered even if you're looking for a more conspicuous micro ATX case that'll let you highlight just how impressive your hardware is. Enter the Masterbox Lite 3.1. It accomplishes this by using tempered glass side panels and a black tinted front panel. What's more, the high-end profile design is further complemented by the LED light built into the pre-installed fan. For what it's worth, it manages to retain a decent airflow despite focusing on aesthetics as much as functionality, but decent just doesn't cut it sometimes. However, even though it's not the best case for high-end rigs that rely on air cooling simply because it only supports a maximum of three fans, it offers great appeal for those who plan to use liquid cooling thanks to the additional radiator mount. As such, we highly recommend it if you plan on using liquid cooling in a reasonably priced case and showing off your hardware to the world. Now, if you like what the Masterbox Lite has to offer, but want to take it to the next level, then you'll definitely want to know about the Corsair Crystal Series 570X. This ATX case uses fully transparent tempered glass as the front, top, and both side panels. Unlike the Masterbox Lite, however, the 570X was built to take the maximum advantage of both air and liquid solutions. A larger case generally allows for more advanced cooling, but the 570X features a grand total of six fan mounts and three radiator mounts. And its stock cooling mechanism comes with three pre-installed front RGB fans. So to sum it up, the Corsair Crystal Series 570X is a case that boasts incredible aesthetic appeal and massive cooling potential no matter which route you opt for. So are there any drawbacks? Well, sort of. Particularly if you aren't keen on the idea of parting with an arm and a leg, because that's what it will cost you. High quality comes at a high price. Now, if you like having all your body parts where they are, but still need a good ATX case, don't worry, we've got you covered. The Corsair Carbide Series 100R may look like a huge downgrade compared to the 570X, and in some ways it actually is. It doesn't have the visual flair and it doesn't feature a single radiator mount, making it an easy pass for anyone with liquid cooling aspirations. But what it does have are an excellent and quality built, easily manageable store racks, simplified cable management support and an air cooling system with a maximum of five fans that's just about on par with 570X's, despite costing a mere fraction of the price. Granted, it only comes with one pre-installed fan, but even if you go all out on the other four, you'll still be getting great value. The bottom line is, if you're looking for the best budget ATX air cooling case, there's not a model we could recommend more highly than the 100R. And now for something completely different. We give you the NZXT H440. The NZXT name may not carry nearly as much weight as Cooler Master and Corsair do, but if the H440 is anything to go by, it should. 
This ATX case takes performance to a whole new level, with a grand total of 5 radiator mounts and 7 fan mounts. It's just mind-boggling. And it's not like it doesn't have style either. It may not be high-profile, attention-grabbing kind of exterior with a heavy emphasis on RGB support, but there's something very elegant about its clean, minimal design accentuated with a single red highlight. Another way in which the H440 distinguishes itself from the Crown is in its interior management. It keeps all storage base closed and separate from the main components and greatly facilitates cable management. The only drawback to all of this is that the interior does feel somewhat cramped, especially if you go all in with the radiators. And as you've probably already guessed, it's a bit on the expensive side. Now all that's left are the two EATX cases. If this is all you're interested in, you'll be well rewarded for your patience. This we promise. And the Thermaltake Core V51 is half the reason why. Judging by the curved edges and transparent side panels, it's clear that some effort was made to increase the visual appeal beyond what just a large square rectangle has to offer. But even if you aren't all that keen on the exterior, just wait till you see the specs on this thing. The Core V51 is a very performance oriented case and what stands out the most is its cooling capability. Even the stock cooling setup is very efficient. With the mesh front, the sheer size of an EATX case and the two front fans and one rear fan. But the expansion options are just colossal. You can mount a grand total of 9 fans on this case. There are even two bottom mounts. And as for radiators, a maximum of 4 can be mounted. This may be one fewer than you could mount on the H440, but two of the four Core 51 mounts are for 420mm radiators, whereas the ATX H440 can only hold 120mm radiators. And remember, if you're curious about the exact specs for any of the cases we've mentioned, you can find them in our article. We only highlighted them here to show you how insane this setup can get. Normally, this is the part where we would say that the only downside is the price. But in this case, that simply isn't the case. So the only thing that could be construed as a possible downside for this excellent EATX case is the mediocre exterior. If you're a performance-oriented user, however, it's quite a bargain. Of course, if you're looking for the absolute best, both performance and design-wise, then you may want to opt for the Thermaltake View 71 instead. We didn't present the cases in this list in any order, except that we started with the mini ITX models and worked our way up to the EATX ones, but we did save the very best for last. The View 71 takes all the functionality of the Core V51, expands upon it, and gives it a stunning makeover with a tempered glass exterior and RGB fans. It has the same stock cooling setup as the V51 and also supports 9 fans in total, but it ups the radiator count to 5 without sacrificing the size of the mounts. It's the full package. Quality build, excellent cooling, and great visual appeal all wrapped into one gaming case. We can't say that it carries a budget price tag, but for what it offers, its price is pretty reasonable as well. If you're performance oriented, then you'll be getting better value out of the Core V51, but overall, the VIEW 71 is the ultimate gaming case of 2019. Of course, that's only our opinion, and whether you agree or disagree, we'd like to hear what you think down in the comments. Now that you've seen the list, all that's left to do is decide on which gaming case suits you the best. If you want a full guide on how to choose the best case, you can find one in the article linked to this video. But here's the rundown. You'll need to pay attention to three things. Size, cooling, and hardware compatibility. The size is pretty straightforward. Computer case sizes are named after the motherboard formats that they were made to accommodate. Just like there are mini ITX, micro ATX, ATX, and EATX motherboards, there are cases of corresponding sizes. You can always put a smaller motherboard in a larger case, but not the other way around. The only exceptions are the mid towers, made for ATX motherboards, but they can also support EATX motherboards. Once you know which motherboard you'll be using, you'll know which cases you can use as well. As for cooling solutions, we've made a whole video where we discuss the pros and cons of liquid and air cooling, so it's best you see that if you want to know more about them. There's a link to that video in the description. And finally, as for hardware compatibility, all you have to worry about is whether a certain component can physically fit into the case. We've mentioned how it works with motherboards, but the same can go for every piece of hardware except for RAM. 
And that pretty much does it for the best 10 gaming cases of 2019. With such a versatile range of gaming cases made to cater to all sizes, budgets, and preferences, we hope that everyone can find a perfect match. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you want to see more helpful videos like this one, press the bell icon and you'll be the first one to do so. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.